Have you ever wondered who decides which judge hears which case in the Supreme Court of India? Is it random or is there a method to the madness? Welcome to the intricate world of rostering and listing of cases. It's a world where the allocation of cases to benches isn't just administrative but also controversial. A controversy that has its roots deeply embedded in the events from 2018 and has resurfaced with vigor in 2024. Dive with us into the heart of this controversy, a saga that unfolds from 2018 to 2024. It all started in 2018 with an unprecedented press conference by senior judges of the Supreme Court. This was no ordinary press conference, it was a first-of-its-kind event, a moment that sent shockwaves through the legal fraternity. The senior judges stepped forward to voice their concern over the handling of the roster of cases. They highlighted a clear disregard for rules and established practices, sparking the conversation around the rostering and listing of cases in the Supreme Court of India. The press conference served as a catalyst, a wake-up call that demanded attention to the issue. It was a bold move, a public outcry for transparency and fairness in the allocation of cases. The judges questioned the prerogative of the master of the roster, the Chief Justice of India, who has the authority to constitute benches for allocation of work. The judges' public display of concern led to steps being taken to formalize the roster of matters. The aim was to ensure that cases would be taken up before the various benches of the Supreme Court in a more transparent and equitable manner. The press conference was a turning point, marking the beginning of a much-needed reform. But the question remains, did it bring about the desired change? Was the formalization of the roster a solution, or did it merely scratch the surface of a deeper issue? This was the beginning of a journey towards transparency, but was it enough? Fast forward to 2024, the controversy has resurfaced with a fervor. An open letter penned by senior advocate Dushyant Dave has reignited the embers of this issue. In his letter addressed to the Chief Justice of India, D.Y. Chandrachud, Dave articulates his concerns about the listing and rostering of cases in the Supreme Court of India. His letter is an outcry against what he perceives as a blatant disregard of rules and established practices. The crux of his grievance lies in the instances where cases listed before various benches were abruptly taken away and listed before other benches. These abrupt shifts, Dave argues, undermine the integrity of the established procedures and threaten the impartiality of the judicial process. The echoes of past conduct, specifically the infamous 2018 press conference by senior judges of the Supreme Court, reverberate through Dave's words. It's clear that the wounds of the past are still raw, the scars still visible. Dave's letter is a stark reminder of the unresolved issues that continue to plague the Supreme Court of India. Looking beyond the immediate shockwaves of the letter, we see a broader landscape of discontent. Dave's concerns are not isolated incidents but are reflective of a systemic issue within the Supreme Court. They shed light on the underlying tension between the adherence to rules and the exercise of discretion in the listing of cases. Furthermore, Dave's letter is not just a critique but also a call to action. It's a plea for transparency, for accountability, and for the restoration of faith in the institution. It's a reminder that the Supreme Court, the highest judicial body in India, is not immune to scrutiny and should uphold the highest standards of justice. In the midst of this resurfacing controversy, the silence from the master of the roster, the Chief Justice of India, raises questions. Why is there no response? Why is there no clarification or reassurance? Dave's open letter has once again stirred up the pot, but this time the silence is deafening. The controversy is back, the questions are louder, and the need for answers is greater than ever. The stage is set for what could be a transformative moment in the history of the Supreme Court of India. The master of the roster, the Chief Justice of India, holds the power to constitute benches for allocation of work. This title carries a significant weight as it symbolizes the authority to shape the course of justice in the country by determining which bench hears what matter. It's a role that requires careful consideration and a deep understanding of the law. However, the current controversy surrounding the rostering and listing of cases in the Supreme Court of India has cast a shadow on the role of the master of the roster. The silence of the Chief Justice amidst this controversy has not gone unnoticed. It has, in fact, raised eyebrows and fueled the ongoing debate. 
The essence of this controversy lies in the perceived disregard of rules and established practices in the allocation of cases. Instances where cases listed before various benches were taken away and listed before other benches have been pointed out as disturbing deviations. These deviations, as suggested by senior advocate Dushiant Dave in his open letter, hint at the scars of past conduct. The silence of the master of the roster on this matter is intriguing. Is it a sign of implicit acceptance of the status quo or is it a strategic silence biding time while working on a solution behind the scenes? The silence leaves room for speculation and speculation often fuels controversy. This controversy is not just about rostering and listing of cases, it's about the very integrity of the judicial system. It's about trust, transparency, and fairness in the highest court of the land. It's about ensuring that every case, no matter how big or small, gets a fair hearing. It's about upholding the principles of natural justice, which form the bedrock of any legal system. The silence of the master of the roster has added fuel to the fire, making this a controversy that demands our attention. The resolution of this issue will not only have a profound impact on the functioning of the Supreme Court, but also on the faith that the citizens of India have in their judiciary. So let's take a step back and look at the big picture. In 2018, a press conference by senior judges of the Supreme Court set the stage for a controversy that's still alive today. The crux of the issue, the rostering and listing of cases and who gets to decide. Fast forward to 2024, the controversy resurfaces with an open letter penned by senior advocate Dushant Dave. He'd written to the Chief Justice of India, expressing deep concern about cases being moved between benches, alleging a clear disregard of rules and established practices. This shifting landscape of justice is under the purview of the master of the roster, the Chief Justice of India. However, his silence on the matter has only added fuel to the fire raising more questions than answers. As we await the outcome, one thing is clear. The question of rostering and listing of cases in the Supreme Court of India is far from settled. 